Welcome back to A Considerate Life. Today I want to talk about communism and why communism, I think, fails as an idea. I was traveling recently and I wanted some light reading, so I I picked up George Orwell's Animal Farm, uh, literally, because it's light. I don't like traveling with, uh, with heavy books. I've got plenty of heavy books, and I don't need to bring them with me. So in reading Animal Farm, I was reflecting again on the nature of communism and what communism requires from a society. What struck me was this. I don't think communism necessarily fails as an ideology. It, it may. I mean, uh, I'm open to uh, political analysis that uh, that concludes that. But initially, what I was thinking is that communism fails, maybe not even because it's a bad idea. It may be a bad idea. But it it fails predominantly because of its instruments. And that is human nature. What I have in mind is this. Communism, it seems to me that communism requires that human beings en masse sacrifice, adopt a at least a potentially sacrificial position for the good of others that are strangers that are outside their family. Now I'm going off of, you know, basic human experience, but also the fact that the idea that the virtuous person is rare to find a truly courageous person engaged in courageous acts. We give out medals of honor for that. We we count these people heroes the genuinely wise among us take their place in the history of ideas as sages, Plato, Aristotle, Socrates, men like this. So given this principle that the genuinely virtuous person is rare, combine that with a political ideology that demands that human beings be closer to the apex of virtuous human behavior. That is sacrifice, uh, self-sacrifice for strangers. Not, not just self-sacrifice for strangers, but self-sacrifice even in times of radical uncertainty or scarcity of resources. Now, if you want to take the tack that human beings have the potential to be this kind of sacrificial society, that's, that's fine. But we also have to have a, in mind at least a potentially changing environment where resources become scarce. When resources become scarce, people revert back to this selfishness, at least a concern for themselves and their loved ones, which is not wrong. It's just sort of the default position of individuals. They want to take care of themselves and they want to take care of their family and their loved ones, right? Rather than sacrificing for some unnamed mass of strangers uh, known as, you know, the community or the state. Right now, I want to balance that with something that we read in Acts chapter two that looks very much like communism. The ideas of communism. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe, and many wonders and miraculous signs were done by the apostles. All the believers were together and had everything in common, selling their possessions and goods they gave to anyone as he had need. This very much looks like the central ideas of communism. The believers live together. They have everything in common. People uh, sell out of their wealth. They sell property or land or, or goods, and they give to those who are in need. This very much sounds like a Christian endorsement of the ideas of communism, but, but note the, the qualities of this community. They are highly devoted to their religious practices, their beliefs, They're devoted to prayer and to the apostles' teaching. The apostles' teaching is borne out by miraculous signs and wonders. And keep in mind that a few chapters later in chapter 5, we see the story of Ananias and Sapphira. People who, although they sold property and they brought some of the funds to the apostles, they lied about it and they were struck dead by the Holy Spirit. So there's this holy fear and godliness in this community. And that backs up what we said earlier, that these ideas, perhaps not wrong in and of themselves, they require the community of individuals to live near the apex of human virtue and goodness. 
And so if we were to point to scripture, like the Acts chapter 2 passage, and say, look, here is where we see the idea of communism borne out or uh, adopted by or endorsed by uh, scripture. The counter to that would be you have to look at the quality of individuals that are engaged in those sorts of practices and the kind of holy fear and discipline that is inspired by the kind of living that they're, that they're under. And then ask yourself the question, in, say, America in the 21st century, the quality of the average citizen, are they, are they the type of person that in times of uncertainty and scarcity are going to continue to sacrifice for the greater good for their, for their neighbors that they, that they may not know or not? And if not, and I, I would suspect most people would say not, um, communism then would fail. It would fail, not necessarily because of the merit of its ideas, but its inability to be, to be acted out because it's the assumption or the, the, the condition for it to be met simply doesn't obtain, uh, for the average person. And I think this is one of the, one of the strengths of like an Adam Smith and a free market economy is it takes the idea that most people are going to be self-interested in their behavior. And again, I'm not a political philosopher. I don't study economics, but from my, from what I've gleaned from friends that, that study these things, just in thinking about communism, uh, given my reading of Animal Farm, um, I thought, you know, there are places, at least in Acts 2, where the idea of communism is not vilified. It's just simply the conditions that require communism or communistic types of ideas to succeed are rare. And they're, I would say they're probably temporary. And so to use the ideas to build a, uh, a long lasting sort of political ideology, I think that's why, um, why it fails. So that's it for this video. Next time I want to take a look at a video that's been making the rounds in some of the uh, Christian podcasters. And I want to take a look at the notions of stewardship and shrewdness especially as they affect our ability to win people over with the gospel. So we'll talk about that next time. Yes.